Hi, I'm Gareth James. This is VDI Made Easy as Pi. Uh, I'm going to be showing you just the basics of VDI in a Citrix world. At the back end, we've got a Zen server hosting our virtual desktop images. We've got provisioning server, which is provisioning those out to the workstations, streaming them down to either thin clients or PCs, whatever you have. And then we've got Zen desktop server, which is acting as the broker mechanism to provision those out to the clients. And of course, we'll have Active Directory there somewhere just for authentication purposes. Step one, create your base workstation. In this bit, I'm going to just show you how to mount a disk to a normal workstation and copy that off to create your base workstation image. So here's my XP workstation. And I've gone and I've installed the provisioning server device install bit, and it's very much a next, next, next install. And that gives me this little image builder, which will I will now use to copy what I've put onto this local C drive onto an externally mounted drive. This is my provisioning server, and I'm creating a virtual disk, which I've called XP, and that will run alongside my physical hard disk, and I will copy my physical hard disk to the virtual hard disk. So I've rebooted that XP workstation. I'm going to give it a, a little device name now. XP, XP template. Description uh, template. And uh, I'm going to, I can now choose to give it a disk. And what I'm going to create is, a, I've, I've created one which uh, earlier which I'm going to use. And I can choose choose to boot off the hard disk or from from that virtual disk. I'll choose to boot off the hard disk now because I'm going to copy what's on the hard disk to the other disk. Great, so I've rebooted it now. It's booted off the, the hard disk, but as you can see over here, in the right hand bottom right hand corner, my little virtual disk is active. So I can see that, and it's mounted across the network and as you can see it's not even formatted yet so that is the mounted disk and now all I need to do is use this little tool provisioning server to copy everything across to the new disk and now as you can see it's just copying everything over onto that e-drive uh, just zipped past the bit where it's copying the registry across. So basically everything that's on the disk is going over to the other disk. Step 2. Create a Zen VM. Okay, so you open up your Zen console and you create yourself a new XP virtual machine. You don't have to install anything on that. You're just creating a machine that's uh, going to be a holder for that. So it's got a bit of memory and some processing power. And Step three, use the handy wizard. Okay, so here's the handy tool. And on this server, I've got a provisioning server. And I've got a Zen desktop server, which is why my handy tool is pointing at the same machine. And on another server, I've got a Zen server. Okay, so next and here's that XP workstation I just created a second ago and I'm going to give it a base host name and I could whack in as many as I wanted here for this purpose of this little I'm just going to put in XP uh, workstation and I could and I'm going to pick on that XP hard disk that I created from the uh, which is now the virtual hard disk that had been mounted alongside the, the, the physical hard disk and start. It's now cloning that source machine, it's adding the VMs to the provisioning server and then it's going off to the uh, controller server which would be our Zen desktop server and adding them into a desktop group there. And there you go, ready to roll. Click on finish and we're done. And now if we open up our Zen desktop console we can see that that XP workstation which I created underscore one has been created inside automatically inside the desktop group and it's 
automatically created a desktop group of that name. If I'd created multiple virtual desktops, they would all be listed here as a list for a, a group. Now all I had to do was to go and modify the properties of that desktop and assign it to some users and bang, they can log in.